Shop the City is a full-service wardrobe consulting agency aimed at taking the mental load out of getting dressed. Stylist Sarah Brandt is here with us to talk about summer trends that you won't want to miss. Sarah, thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited that you're here to kind of help everyone refresh their summer wardrobe. So what is kind of like the overall theme for this summer? It's definitely very casual. We're definitely seeing a lot of more like beachy and like almost pajama inspired pieces, very oversized and just really all about comfort. We don't want to be constricted. We don't want to be in things that are really tight, especially when it's really hot out. We just want comfort and cute and practical. So all of these trends are super wearable. Okay, love that. And I kind of think that, you know, casual is fun. I like, as soon as you said casual, I'm like, yes, I love this. And it, you're right, you do want to be comfortable in the summer. So you kind of are going to break down some of the top trending uh, summer styles. And then, um, so let's start first and foremost with fisherman sandals. Yes, so these are a great summer sandal. No pedicure needed. They are inspired by Portugal, which is a huge destination right now. And they're just an easy, comfortable shoe that you can wear with almost anything. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, what can you wear them with? So you can literally wear these with, with anything? I think so. I almost wore some today. Mm -hmm. They were a perfect brown that matched this. Yeah. Went with a different color. I think you can wear them with the trending trousers. You can wear them with shorts. You can kind of elevate jeans with them and have that little rounded toe and the little bit of like skin poking out in those little details to kind of make it a little bit more summery, but it's still like practical enough that you can wear it too. And more formal workplace or somewhere else and just feel comfortable and really not stress. Okay, something else that I am seeing all over is the vest. People are just a vest in sweaters, tailored vests, kind of everywhere. So what do we need to know about this trend? So I feel like the past year or two, it was all about the sweater vest. And this summer, we're really seeing, seeing a tailored vest. So something with buttons, whether it's a V-neck or a high neck, and we're wearing it mostly as a top on its own. But come fall, I love the idea of layering it over a t-shirt, over a tank top, or over a turtleneck as it gets really cold. Yeah, long sleeve you can add. And I didn't even think about that. Look at you already thinking ahead with the summer trends. Love that. And then you can mix and match this as well. I think I've seen, right? It's You can kind of do this vest with different bottoms and, and change the look up that way. Yeah, if you want to be more formal, you can totally do it with a matching blazer and trouser set. I've been seeing a lot of that around. I was just in Aritzia yesterday. They had some really cute ones. But I also love it if you were to do just a solid vest with some jean shorts or with a like denim pant and then again doing it a little bit more casual so you get that smart casual vibe of a really elevated more corporate looking piece with really casual pieces and that's really what we all need in the Bay Area. Okay fun well let's talk about our next trend I think that we have a picture here that we're going to pull up um, this is the cargo details. This is the barrel pants. So these are a more of a horseshoe kind of silhouette. And this is from a San Francisco influencer, Kate Ogata. And I really love that they are more of like a rounded shape. So they're really baggy. You don't feel self-conscious. It's not super skinny or like sticking to you in that really hot heat and it's just a fun piece um, that looks good in so many different body types mm -hmm. and let me just say don't shy away from these wide legged jeans I was actually I was just saying this the other day that you know putting them on I just bought a pair and I put them on and I'm like I feel dumb in these I don't know and now they're like my favorite jeans that I have I just you're so comfortable in them. you're so comfortable and I think once you step away from the skinny jeans and I have a really great recommendation for one to segue you out of that before before you are fully committed to the full wide leg barrel pant. But once you step into them and you're like, oh my God, there's room. I don't feel constricted. I don't feel like, you know, as women, you know, it's that time of the month. You feel like, oh my God, I look so big. The wide leg jean takes care of that and you are just all comfort. Yeah. And then you can elevate it by doing it with a cute flat or a cute shoe and a nicer top yeah. to really bring it all a little more elevated yeah so you can that's the the other good part about it is you can elevate it with a little heel or just it looks so cute with a classic white sneaker so exactly. i'm telling you don't shy away from the wide-legged jeans okay now we're on to the cargo detail so tell me about this yes so we've been seeing a resurgence of the cargo pants for a while and now that we are in summer we're seeing cargo skirts cargo shorts we're seeing a little bit of cargo and utility detailing in jackets we are seeing it 
everywhere. So anything with a little pocket, that more like cottony soft fabric is gonna give you that cargo detail. And again, it comes down to elevated casual. And so it's function as well. Like you've got pockets to put your phone in whether you're running around. I've seen Lululemon has like a cargo running skirt. So cute. You can definitely do so much with this. And depending on your body type, you can find a piece that's gonna work for you and highlight the best part of you. Okay, amazing. So the Bermuda shorts is the next thing we gotta talk about. Yes, I feel like jorts are really having a resurgence and they are not the Junko shorts of the early aughts. We are really looking at a more tailored Bermuda denim short or jort and that is going to look so cute with like a little strappy kitten heel this summer and like an elevated t-shirt or maybe a going out top. Nothing too blousey because you don't want to overpower the denim but I think it's so cute and especially as women and moms as we're getting older we don't want to be running around in Daisy Dukes. These are so practical and again they're wide, they're comfortable, they're just a great summer trend. Yeah. I've been living in mine. Amazing. Okay, this color I have been seeing everywhere, and I think it is so gorgeous. The powder blue color we are seeing, you know, everyone wear. Here's a picture of Hailey Bieber. So cute. Tell me about this color. So we have been seeing this color rising in trend for a while, and all of the summer... Uh, runways had a bit of powder blue on them and we're actually seeing it as kind of an annual color right now. So I'm seeing it into fall, but it's having such a big resurgence right now in summer because it's so light and airy. And I think that certain people can wear that color close to their face. I am unfortunately not one of them, but you can still wear the trend in an accessory. So think a handbag or a swimsuit or shoes or a little detail like in my top where it's not overpowering. Yeah, okay, lastly, quick tip before I let you go and just super quickly, what is advice you have for people to try a trend that they maybe you know want to try but haven't really got there? What are some tips for trying something new with fashion? I think number one, rentals. I think it's the most sustainable option. My entire outfit is rented today. There's Newly, there's Rent the Runway. You can try those barrel pants and not commit without yeah. really loving them. So try it and you don't have to make the commitment and you can just send it back. Well, Sarah, I appreciate you joining us. I love when you're here sharing all of your stylish tips with us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Yes.